the building. The next question says, solve for x and y if x minus 3y plus 5 equals 0 and x squared plus 4xy plus 3 equals 0. Now, for us to solve this, we first of all say x minus 3y plus 5 equals 0. We call it equation 1. Then the second one, x squared plus 4xy plus 3 equals 0. We call this equation 2. Having established this, from 1, let's say, from equation 1, we have that x, if we take this to the other side, it becomes plus. x is equal to 3y minus 5. We can call this equation 3. If we now substitute it into equation 2, anywhere we see x, we replace it with 3y minus 5. We are going to have 3y minus 5 squared squared plus 4 Instead of x again, we replace it with 3y minus 5. Then we now put y. Then plus y, we now have plus 3 is now equal to 0. Now, having done that, we can evaluate it. This is the same thing as writing it into 2. Plus... 4 times y will give you 4y into 3y minus 5 plus y plus 3 equals 0. Now, 3 times 3y times 3y will give you 9y squared. Now, 3y times minus 5 will give you minus 15y. Th minus 5 times 3y will give you another minus 15 y minus 5 times minus 5 will give you plus 25 plus 4y times 3y will give you 12y squared then 4y times minus 5 will give you minus 20y then we had plus y plus 3 equals 0 so here we have 9y squared minus 15 minus 15 is minus 30y then any other one no, not actually. So we write down the other ones. 25 plus 12y squared minus 20y plus y plus 3 equals 0. Now we can collect like terms actually. If we collect like terms, 9y squared, another y squared plus 12y squared, any other y squared, no. What we now have is y minus 30y, any other y minus 20y plus y then numbers plus 25 plus 3 equals 0 now having gotten here we have this plus this will give us 21y squared this this will give us minus 50 plus this will give us minus 49 so minus 49y this this is 28 plus 28 plus, uh, equals 0 now we can solve this quadratically because you can see without wasting of our time okay let's just show that we can see 3y squared by factorizing it we can see 3y squared minus 3y then we have minus 4y 4y plus 4 equals 0 then here we have 3y minus 4 then minus 4 is common y minus 1 equals 0 here we have that uh, is either that 3y minus 4 equals 0 or that y minus 1 equals 0 what that means is that y is 4 over 3 from here y is 4 over 3 if we make y subject of the formula then if we make y subject of the formula y equals 1 so we can put these values into equation 3. If we put these values into equation 3, when y is 1, we will have that x is equal to 3 times 1 minus 5. So x will be 3 minus 5, which is minus 2. So when y When y is 4 over 3, 
if we fix that, we'll have that x is equal to four, uh, 3 into 4 over 3 minus 5. We can get that this can cancel this. So we have that x equals 4 minus 1, which is 1, uh, 4 minus 5, which is minus 1. So what it means is that x is equal to minus 1 and y is 4 over 3. Then the second value is that x equals minus 2 and y equals, equals okay, 1 y equals 1. So these are our answers, 1 and 2.